Hey folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting and today I'm going to show you how I make a simple three-step baiter. It's going to save you some money, it's going to cut weight when you're walking out into the woods and it's going to get you about three or four feet higher up in the tree when you hunt this fall. We'll see you in a minute. The materials I'm going to use to build this DIY aider are really pretty simple. I've got a tape measure, uh, scissors, I've got two types of duct tape, some colored duct tape that I use as a marker, camouflage duct tape to cover up the hose pieces, uh, three hose pieces that I cut at eight and a half inches, so it's about an inch and a half wider than my hunting boots so that it is not too narrow that I struggle getting my foot into this aider as I climb up or climb down. And then I purchased this quarter inch uh, rope uh, camouflage that is just thick enough that I can get it through the hose twice. First thing I did was take some rough measurements, uh, just really kind of drew a picture of what this three-step DIY aider is going to look like. Uh, I went ahead and estimated some extra for each one of these step pieces. Uh, I'm going to use eight and a half inches so that it's a couple inches wider than my boot but I estimated 12 inches for each one of these three steps. I wanna go 17 inches in between my steps uh, because that's what I'm looking at for the sticks that I'm gonna have and I wanna be uniform with the steps on my aider as I'm gonna be uniform with the steps on the sticks as I'm climbing up. I put three inches for each one of these areas where I'm, I'm gonna have knots and then I included 12 inches here at the very top so that I have plenty enough to be able to attach the top of this rope and aider to the climbing stick that I have. Went ahead and multiplied this out and ended up with about 256 inches. So I divided that by 12 inches per foot and I got about 21 feet. So I just did a little extra, about 22 feet that I'm gonna need for my aider. So it's important really to sit down and draw out one of these rough sketches to get an idea because the last thing that you want to do is end up not having enough rope after you do all this work. So I cut out my 22 feet of rope here and the first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and thread the rope through my bottom step of hose piece and then the important thing is to make sure that I pull it all the way through so that I have the same amount of rope on both ends you got to go ahead and play around with it just a little bit to estimate that you have the same amount of rope. What I usually do is I hold both ends so they're even, then I slide my hand up the rope. And as I slide my hand up the rope, I'll find out where it's even right there. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but it gives you an estimate of where I stand right there with having enough rope to be able to uh, tie all the knots on either side of this aider. I'm then going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to tie a knot in this end of the rope on one end of the hose and real simple knot. I'm just going to wrap it around and bring it back as a loop and I'm going to slide this loop all the way down to the actual hosing itself trying to get it butted up against exactly where I had just measured on those pieces of rope so that they were the same length on either side. I'm going to snug that knot up as tight as I can and you'll see that the quarter inch material with one knot does not slide back through into the hose material right there. I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and again simply pulling this rope through to make a very simple knot. And again, snugging this knot up as tight as I can to the actual hose so that this hose can't slide right or left as your bottom aider. So when I'm done, I've got the hose, I've got these two knots right here, and this bottom piece can barely slide back and forth. I then take the rope and I lay it out along the end of the table. 
and I go ahead and get my tape measure out. And from the knot that I tied at the bottom, I measure out 17 inches. And I take my colored duct tape and uh, take a little bit off. And I cut a piece off so I can use it as two marking strips. And I mark it off right at 17 inches and I wrap it around right there. And then I do the same thing on the opposite side. I also measure out 17 inches and put a piece of that marking tape right there. That way I know exactly from the bottom of this knot here to the next knot that I'm gonna tie that it's 17 inches. The important thing when I get ready to put the rope through the next piece of hose is making sure the knot is butt down against that piece of colored tape so it's exactly 17 inches or pretty darn close from this knot to the next knot. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rope and I'm gonna make a real simple knot. And I'm making this knot so the knot is right at this piece of colored tape, that marker that I made right there. The reason that I wanna do that is I want it to be as close to 17 inches as I possibly can. So the distance between my steps on the aider is similar to the distance of the steps I have on my Tethridge one sticks. Just makes it a lot easier when you're uh, crawling up and especially when you're coming down. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my second step and uh, I'm going to go ahead and thread this rope through and I'm going to pull it through almost to that knot. And the real important part here is I take my other piece of rope and I thread it through the opposite direction and it comes through that opposite end right there. I'll go ahead then and I'll pull this as tight as I possibly can, pulling it all the way until it reaches the knots that I put in both ends of the rope. I'm also gonna make a knot in the rope in the end that it comes out of the hose so that it can't slide either direction. Right, just trying to get that step to stay in one place, just so it's easier, uh, especially when you're coming down at night and you're not seeing where that next step is. Take the other side, do the same thing, and you'll see that each end of the hose now has two knots that's coming out of it, so that this piece of hose, no matter how hard I pull on it here, it can't slide out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do the same thing that I did before. Grab a little bit more of this colored duct tape. Use any kind of tape. I just had some extra blue duct tape laying around. So I figured that it would stick without falling off. So again, I'm keeping these steps as uniform as possible. My short little legs, old age here, it's a lot easier to have all the steps be the same height. And now the third step tied in on this three-step aider. And then I have plenty of extra rope that I left right here so that I can sit down and fashion some way to tie this into the stick that you have. So the next step that I'm gonna do, and I've done one in advance to give you guys an idea right here, is we've got this white hose. So I've taken this camouflage tape that I have and I've done two actual strips of camouflage tape around this. But instead of wrapping around, I went and put the tape linear um, so that it's got more of the pattern that shows there. And just straighten out this just a little bit. And again, try and flatten it. And I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna try and wrap this tape as tightly and smoothly around the hose as I can. Not gonna be perfect, but it's camouflage, right? So there it is, I just kind of tighten that up a little bit and here it is. Uh, I've got some camouflage tape on this top step of my aider. So I'm going to go back and do the same thing with the other two steps. So there you see we've got all three pieces 
of our rubber hose that was white camouflage taped. Uh, who knows whether it lasts all season or we may have to add a little bit more to it, but this also is waterproof tape. So hopefully it'll get through a whole season. And then if I got to touch it up again before next year, I will. So the last thing that I would do is uh, I would take the tops of these that I see and uh, I would measure out my 17 inches again. And then I would decide how I was going to tie a knot onto the actual bottom step of my stick itself. Um, I'm waiting like so many of you guys are too to get this new Tethered One stick. And I know it's got the steps on both sides. So my hope is that I'm going to be able to tie a knot that uh, sits on this on both the right and left and then 17 inches right up to the top. My plan this fall is to uh, get to a tree. I'm going to climb up, go ahead and put one stick up, use that stick to climb up to put the first stick with the three-step aider on it. That way, with as long as that three-step aider is, uh, that first step is still 17 inches off the ground. And then as soon as I do that, I'll take that bottom stick off and I'll put that on my back to carry up to put the other sticks to go up the tree. Hi guys, Up and I just got back from our scout. I hope that you enjoyed that video on how I build my three-step DIY aider. Hopefully you can take some ideas from that and help you get a little bit higher in the tree next year. Look forward to uh, getting more tutorial videos out to you guys in this second season of my YouTube channel. This is Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting telling you to have a great night. See ya. Don't forget to subscribe.